Welcome. Welcome to the Cybertruck uh, delivery event. So, uh, I'm going to do it from the back of the truck here. Hey. So, so once, once in a while, once in, once, in a, once in a long while, a product comes along that is uh, rare. That is, once, in every, once every five to ten years, something really special, a, a really unusual product comes along. And we'll remember those special moments. When, <laughs> indeed, um, special moments. Um, so, but but these things are rare. It's very rare that a product comes along that is uh, seemingly impossible. Uh, that that people said was impossible. That experts said was impossible. And this is one of those times. We have, a, we have a, a car here that experts said was impossible, that experts said would never be made, that uh, it, it, it really is the most, I think, it's, I think it's our best product, I think it's the most unique thing on the road. And finally, the future will look like the future. So. So what, what we're aiming for here is something that has, that's more truck than truck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> that's literally my brother there. <laughs> so, um, and, and so what we have here is, is something that is a better truck than a truck, while also being a better sports car than a sports car in the same package. So, first of all, let's, uh, you know, they talk about how, you know, trucks are tough. That's one of the defining characteristics of a truck. So, how tough is this truck? Let's find out. So, we actually had to come up with a special, ultra-strong, uh, Tesla-designed steel alloy. So, this alloy, did this, 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 Metal did not exist before. Uh, we needed something that you could actually manufacture, but uh, that, that would be, uh, have basically no corrosion, um, that didn't need paint, uh, but you can still make it in volume. And part of the reason that it has this angular shape is you can't actually stamp these body panels. The body panels would break the stamping machine. So, uh, Oh, and I should say also, the, because of the steel exoskeleton, it actually has more torsional rigidity than a sports car. It has more torsional stiffness than a McLaren P1. So, it's, that's very, that's a big deal. Um, <laughs> now, you may remember an incident four years ago. <laughs> Didn't quite go as planned. <laughs> and, um, Franz, uh, maybe we should try it again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, well. <laughs> Don't miss. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think you could, we could probably have a pro pitcher or uh, love it, it would still work. Um, so anyway, it's the, the, this, uh, the glass is tough, basically, that's what we're saying. Um, so uh, you don't have to worry about like rocks hitting the glass and cracking the glass. This, gla this uh, glass is, is basically rock proof. Um, it also makes the car very quiet. So it's, the, the, the thing that you'll appreciate when you drive the car is, that, is how smooth and quiet it is. It does, it does, it feels, it doesn't feel like, like a normal truck. It's, it's smooth as silk and, and, and silent. 
uh, when, when you drive it. Um, and um, yeah, so in, tough, in terms of toughness. And then things like rollover, because the center of gravity uh, is so low, it doesn't roll over. And if you're ever in an argument with another car, you will win. Yeah, so. In, in movies, you sometimes see the hero or heroine uh, hiding behind the car door uh, while being shot with bullets. That doesn't actually work un unless you're driving a Cybertruck. So, uh, if Al Capone showed up with a Tommy gun and emptied the entire magazine, into the car door, you would still be alive. So, uh, you know, and so people say like, well, you know, why'd you make it bulletproof? I'm like, why not? <laughs> Do you want to, how tough is your truck? Because the, the, the other trucks, the bullets go through both sides. So uh, you shoot a bullet, goes through both sides of the car. Um, and, uh, you know, you never know. I mean, sometimes you get these like, late civilization vibes. <laughs> You know, you never know when the, the apocalypse uh, could come, come along at any moment. And um, at here at Tesla, we have the finest in apocalypse uh, technology. Uh, I was on the Joe Rogan show, and uh, Joe bet me a dollar that his armor-piercing steel head arrow would go through the car. It, uh, he, no, he owes me a dollar. <laughs> Now, what about utility? So, strength is great, but is this, is this a, you know, perhaps just a show truck? Uh, just a, you know, a showpiece? Or can it do actual work? How does it work as a real everyday truck? Well, here we have the future towing the future. So, uh, if, if, basically, if, if you can fit uh, any cargo in, in the in the trunk or in the bed, it, you you can basically move it around. So it's got uh, over a ton of uh, payload capability, but you could really put more than that in it. Uh, you can tow over 11,000 pounds, um, and it's got a super tough composite bed. No liner needed. The bed is six foot long, four foot wide, and you can fit um, four by eight feet, uh, four four by eight pieces of plywood in with the with the uh, with the back down. So, um, for those who are early into the truck world, there's, there's something uh, in the truck world called a, a truck pull. This is really the, the, the key test of how much power does your truck actually have. So you have to pull this uh, 40,000 pound sled. And uh, when we went to the track, we said, well, well what's the best, uh, yeah, that, that you've seen. I said, well, it's, it'd be the fourth uh, F-350 diesel. I was like, well, let's, let's put our truck up against that. So the, the guy who runs the, the truck pool said, there's no way. There's no way. I was like, well, let's try it. Let's see what happens.
we actually had to slightly turn the car at the end so it didn't hit the wall. <laughs> so this, uh, you have here a car that is, uh, you know, um, bullet, bullet tough, uh, you know, like that phrase, TM. Um, and uh, can outpull an F-350 diesel. Uh, has a massive towing capacity, massive bed. Uh, one of, it, it's basically an incredibly useful truck. It, it's not just some grandstanding showpiece like me. Um, uh, it, it's actually, it's actually very useful. <laughs> now, what about performance? So this, I should say, it, it has an adaptive air suspension. So no matter what the load is, uh, you, it will, you can always have the, it can set the, the ride height at any, at, at low height, anything. It'll automatically adjust the damping according to uh, how much load it's carrying and the road conditions. Uh, it has a 17 inch ground clearance. That, that's a true 17 inches. The, it, with, typically with a truck, you'll, you'll get the differential hanging down low, uh, the rear differential, and that's to what you'll high side on a rock. Uh, but this is this has a completely flat bed, so you could you could uh, drive over basically anything. We actually uh, did, took the cyber truck on a, a Baja rally drive. So this is insane off-road capability. It has locking differentials, rear torque vectoring, uh, and the crazy thing is they'll do this all in comfort. Um, it has steer by wire, which is. If, if, it's one of the things where most people don't know what that means, but um, it's, what, it's how modern jets are designed, the steer-by-wire, which, which gives you variable gain. So if you turn the wheel, a small, the, steering, the steering yoke, a small amount in the parking lot, it will turn the wheels a lot. But if you, if you turn it on, on a highway, it turns the wheels a small amount. So it, it dynamically adjusts how, how much the wheels turn according to uh, what your speed is. Um, and this actually makes it very easy to drive. It actually, and it has a turning circle less than a Model S. So this thing can pack, practically turn it, you know, you know, rotate on a, you know, dime basically. Um, it has incredible low speed maneuverability. And then uh, th there's a lot of advanced details under the skin. Uh, it's the first time that a car is moving to a 48 volt a low voltage architecture from 12 volts, which has been around for 100 years. Um, we have Ethernet comms, uh, distributed controllers, allows for 70% less wire in the car. Um, and it's, uh, it's really, the, the internals are as advanced as the externals. It's, it's uh, a whole new step change in the technology. So let's take it to the racetrack and see how, how does the Cybertruck perform against a Porsche 911. And I, sh I should say, this is, this is an actual Porsche. It's, we literally just got it from the dealer. 2023 Porsche 911. But wait, there's more. So the... the, the <laughs> It can, it can tow a Porsche 911 across a quarter mile faster than the Porsche 911 can go by itself. I should say tougher than bullets. Uh, tow pretty much anything. Uh, faster than a 911 while towing a 911. <laughs> so, uh, and deliveries begin now. Thank you.
so. We're just, these are the actual owners. We're handing over production Cybertrucks to their actual owners. Thank you for buying Cybertruck. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, just open the... I think it's a dream park. There we go. That'd be the best driver you've Thank you. Thank you. Well, as you can see, we've got quite a few to deliver here. So, hi. Thank you. I've slept for three days. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Welcome. Hope you enjoy your car. Fun for you. All right, hey. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Enjoy your trip. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah. Well, this is a delivery event, you know. <laughs> Thank you. That's me. Great. Is this the button for opening? And that's it.
I mean, it's going to be amazing to see all these cars driving around. So I just press this button here. All right. Appreciate you. Welcome. So, I mean, this this is really going to change the look of the roads. I mean, one of the, in a parking lot, one of them does not look like the other. So, hey. See. I love you, Ah, hey. How's it going? Fun? Hey. Sure. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Is that it? All right, thank everyone. Uh, uh, thanks for coming to the Cybertruck delivery event. Um, and uh, you witnessed to what? Oh, one more. OK, sorry. <laughs> OK. Uh, go ahead and drive it out, actually. All right, thanks everyone for coming to this uh, delivery event, and uh, appreciate your support. Um, and uh, this is really going to, like I said, change the look of the roads, and finally the future will look like the future, and it's really going to be something special. Thank you.